Hi guys, Alison here. Just a quick update on my film collection. Um, with uh, I've bought a few new video tapes, a few new DVDs. Uh, just thought I'd go through the collection with you. We've got on VHS, we've got uh, Alien, Assault on Precinct 13, Blind Fury and The Punisher, Creepshow, Dragon Lord, Desperado, Drunken Master. God, one of the Godzilla films, um, God, I can never remember, Invasion of the Astro Monster, which I've basically just bought because Godzilla does a happy dance. Um, and it's got King Ghidra in it, I think, who's one of my favourite baddies. We've got the original Hellraiser, uh, which I have grown to love over the years. Um, we've got the Naked Gun, we've got Pitch Black, Psycho, Red Heat, Species, and Vampire in Brooklyn. Um, as you can see, I've gone for a few of the big box VHSs to basically remind me of when video rental store, stores were a thing. Over to the DVDs and Blu-rays. In my personal collection, we've got Alien, Beavers and Butter Do America, uh, Bedknobs and Broomsticks, which I bought. Um, after the yeah, sad death of Angela Lansbury, because it just reminded me how brilliant that film was, and that I should definitely own a copy. We've got Blade, Brain Dead, Casino Royale to add to my Bond collection, um, even though it's kind of not really one, but it's funny. Who the hell, you know, don't want to see David Niven as Bond? We've got uh, Visualised by Def Leppard. Um, Destroy All Monsters, another Godzilla film that I own. I am massively on the kaiju thing at the moment. I have got The Exorcist 3, which I still maintain is one of the most underrated, not just horror films, but films of all time. Freddy vs. Jason, the only Freddy film, apart from Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 and New Nightmare, where Freddy doesn't scare the living hell out of me. Um, got a uh, He-Man and She-Ra Christmas special. Um, I like watching it round about this time of year, especially in the uh, run up towards Christmas. But any time is a good time for He-Man and She-Ra. Got Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, um, two of my guilty pleasures. Uh, Kill Bill one and two, my favorite Tarantino films, uh, along with Death Proof and Reservoir Dogs. Got Labyrinth, moving on, Never Say Never Again, also an unofficial part of my Bond collection. Phantasm, One, Three and Oblivion. I'm not so keen on Phantasm Part 2, unfortunately. It's not, I don't think it's a bad film per se, but a little bit ew for me in some places. Um, We have also got Robocop, that speaks for itself it's just a modern classic scooby-doo movies which i still love down to the blu-rays sorry the light's not very good i'll just pop the light on so you can see my wonderful collection i have got here the friday the 13th the first eight films because i'm a bit of a jason fan got the uh Showa Gamera films, which I absolutely love. Ghostbusters 1 and 2, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Lifelong Ghostbusters fan. Uh, the Golden Voyager Sinbad, which is an absolute classic and I love it. Grindhouse with Death Proof and Planet Terror back to back, awesome. Jason and the Argonauts, which is another favourite of mine since I was a kid. Scrooge, another good one to watch this time of year, but any time's a good time. Tales from the Hood. I've only got the first one because I find the second one a bit too, uh, a bit too much for me, a bit creepy, a bit, a bit disturbing. They Live, which is actually signed by Roddy Piper, I will show you. Signed to me, although he spelt my name a bit wrong, but never mind, it's Roddy Piper. You forgive him. That was the year before he passed away. Got the first two uh, Chevy Chase vacation films, Universal Soldier. Then over here we have my James Bond collection and Indiana Jones collection. 
still two absolute favourites. And then just down the bottom, lingering by itself because I've no more room on my VHS shelf, Danger Mouse. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed looking at the collection. Bye.